Emily and Jesse see John sitting alone on a bench. Hi, John. Are you okay? You look tired and a little weak. You have a dark circles under your eyes, and your lips are pale. I was so worried that I couldn't sleep last night. I have to decide whether I should go to high school or vocational school. It's too hard to decide. How come? Don't most people want to go to high school? Well, everybody expect except me. I want to be an art worker, and I want to go to vocational school. But my parents don't agree. Your parents are right. You will never be successful if you go to vocational school. Wow! Wait a moment, Jesse. Don't you know that many successful people graduate from vocational schools? Right. Take Xiaoyang, uh, take Qingyang Xiao for example. He went to vocational school, and now he's world famous. Going to vocational school can be a good choice too. So don't worry, John. Follow your heart; it will show you where to go. A letter from Emily. Why did Emily write this letter to John? Dear John, choosing to go to vocational school is like betting at a baseball game. When you stand at home base and swing your bat. You don't know if you are going to hit a home run or not, but you know what you must do: focus your mind on the ball. Making choices is the same thing. You need to listen to your heart before making your choice. Then you will have a better chance to hit a home run. Here is a poem for you. Shh, shh! Can you hear it? Listen, listen! It's talking to you. It's telling you what is true. It never lies to you. Why is this? Because it is your best friend. It is you, by Susan Babcock. John, maybe you are simply too worried to think clearly. But you should listen to your inside voice. It will never cheat you. If you love art, then go to vocational school. You can take hands-on classes and learn new skills. All of these will help you to sail successfully into your future. Good luck, your best friend forever, Emily.